Hi friends, in this video we are going to see NMOS inverter use, switch level modeling using NMOS inverter. So in the previous videos we have seen the CMOS inverter, it has two transistors NMOS and PMOS whereas here we have both the transistors to be the NMOS transistors but operation is different, right? We have an input here and an output this is VCC right now here both the transistors are NMOS but the only difference is this is enhancement mode MOSFET whereas this is depletion mode MOSFET right so here thing is that the channel is not yet formed but here the channel is already formed depletion mode region depletion mode MOSFET this will be in active region it acts as a resistive load ok this is called pull up resistor or pull up transistor whereas this is called pull down this part acts as a resistive pull up load for this transistor Whenever the input is 0 volt, this transistor will be off and the VCC will be the output. Okay. And whenever this is 5 volt, logic high, the output will be 0. Okay. So 5 volt, this transistor on, the entire supply will be pulled down, output will be pulled down here, so output will be 0. So this is the basic working principle of this NMOS inverter. Here we write the Verilog code for this. Same as we wrote for CMOS module and in here only one input and one output, right? So input output. My input is AM, output is out. This as a resistive load, we don't consider the supply, but directly we take supply 0 as A. I have given the name for supply 0 as A here. Now, the first case, this acts as a pull up network. So, pull up is the keyword and I am using it for out whenever this is a high low voltage and for the NMOS ok I think you have understood this is a pull up network so I use the pull up keyword here directly and for NMOS for this thing output is out supply 0 that means there is A and control is in and module ok now whereas in test bench you want to check the output here whereas in test bench what we do is we initialize the input we initialize the input in to 1 bit binary 1 1 bit binary 1 and for every no, 3 nanoseconds I say for every okay, always Initial a star 3 IN is negative of IN. Okay. Suppose for every 3 nanoseconds, my input will be changing here. Suppose you consider first is input is high, so my output will be low. When after 3, three nanoseconds, if I draw the waveform for this input and output high. Okay. So for the first 3 and a half seconds, my output is high, my input is high, so my output will be low. First, next 3 nanoseconds, it will be low, that means my output will be high. Okay. So this is how my waveforms look like in the when we execute this very log code. Right? So we have seen CMOS switches and NMOS switches now. Even we can write the 
gates using this NMOS, NMOS switches but the code will be little lengthy than CMOS switches okay and now the next important switch is that CMOS switch gate CMOS switch previously we have seen PMOS and NMOS now it is CMOS switch okay and we have seen CMOS inverter whereas this is CMOS switch okay here we have two, two transistors PMOS and NMOS they are Overlapped, overlapped themselves like this. This is the input. This is the output. This is the end control. Okay. Now, this is the CMOS switch. This is the PMOS switch, and this is the NMOS switch. They both are overlapped on each other like this. And this is the input, and this is the output. Okay. Now, whenever the input is, whenever the end control which we give is high, then NMOS switch is on. Whenever P control is 1, NMOS, PMOS is 1. Okay? Now, for this, if we write the code, Now here we have input, output and other two variables P control and N control. Right? Now we give the names input IN output out. There's we don't require any bias here. Okay. And So supply. And there is P control and N control. They are directly given. And we need to write the keyword or we need to write the PMOS and NMOS operations for this. So PMOS of my output will be output, input will be in, and P control is the control. Okay. Similarly, NMOS, output will be output, input will be input, thus control will be in control. Okay? Now, N module. In the test bench, what we do is, not writing an entire case, begin input I will give as 1 bit uh, binary 0 ok and P control is negation of N control negation of N control now again I, in I initialize N control to 1 bit binary 1 okay now for every 3 nanoseconds I will change my N control to negation N control okay and for every 5 nanoseconds else I will change my input to negation input. Okay. That means if you if you see whenever input is zero for the first nanosecond, first five nanosecond, whenever input is zero, then my end control is one here. End control is one. That means this switch is on. 
That means output will be whatever the input as well as output. Okay. Then after that, after three nanoseconds, n control, p control will be zero. When control is zero, now p control is on. Whatever the input, that will be the negation of that. So for three to four, this for three nanoseconds, right? So for the first five, three nanoseconds. Three nanoseconds. This will be zero. After that, this one. Again, this will be high. This will be low. Depending upon the time intervals which we give, time delay, the operation will be varying. Okay. So this is about CMOS switch and its modular code module. That's all for this video. Thank you.